so in this video i am going to talk about how you can extract images from the pdf file using python programming so hey guys this is vishwit welcome back to my youtube channel so let's start with the video so in the previous video i talked about how you can extract text from a pdf file so extract text it only is able to extract the particular text from a pdf document but our images were not picked up so in this scenario i want our images to be picked up and only the images will be picked up so for example uh, while doing this one scenario came in my mind so let's suppose there there is a particular book maybe a book of animals a book of birds and that particular book of bird contains maybe hundreds of images hundreds of cool images that you want to save right so there is one option of doing it like if you are using adobe reader or any other pdf reader so you have the option of saving it okay i am using actually microsoft edge to open it so i i am not getting that option to save this but generally in pdfs we have the option of saving this particular uh, image so what if we want to save all the images of a of a pdf so how we can do that so before moving to all pages i will just show you how you can read image from one single page i have imported a model above okay so this will be like a continuation from the previous video and i do highly recommend you please go and watch that previous video uh, and let's define a pdf file object okay so we can also open a file object using the open keyword like we can also read a pdf file object using the open keyword so if i do open and if i do the ocean dot pdf and if i do read binary okay so why i'm doing colon over here my bad now pdf file object this is just a file object now i have to convert into a pdf file object i should type this as a file object i should convert into a pdf file object which will be con given to us by the py pdf module and pdf reader okay and we will be passing our file object into it i hope i am not using the with keyword it should not give me an issue it should work fine if i do shift enter okay it's, it is working just fine now pdf file object so this contains the entire pdf data but i want the pages the number of pages so i have shown you how to do that so it's like if i do pages so this is like a pages object if i do length of it okay it will give me the number of pages that i have in a pdf which is three fine and now what i am going to do is i want to read a single page so i'll read a single page how we can do that so it's like pdf file object dot pages okay now i am selecting the first page so i will give zero so it it is selecting the first page fine now this is like a metadata okay so we are not interested in the metadata now in the first page this is the first page i want to get the images so i can do dot images if i am able to do okay yeah i am able to do dot images and if you are getting any kind of confusion over here in this dot page zero dot images we can definitely break this down into multiple parts that will be good maybe i will i will do this as first page since this is actually our first page now i will do first page dot images fine now if i do shift enter now you, now you can see it returns us a list in that particular list you can see we have a file object right this, this particular file object contains uh, the name of the particular image the data of the particular image and the hash code fine we won't be touching the hash code because even i don't know how to use and manipulate the hash code but uh, definitely i'll be i'll be touching on the name and the data so i what i'm going to do since this is a list okay i have to extract this particular item from it so why this is a list i will tell you so for example in one particular page if we have multiple images in my case i have only one image so that's why in the particular list there is only one particular file but if you have multiple images 
so in that case it's going to give us like a, like multiple items instead of one item so that's that's the reason now i will show you how to read this particular image so we have the list data like inside the list we have the file object now since this is a list we can definitely index it, index it directly if i do shift enter this is the object that we are having now since this is the object we can directly we can directly uh, access its attributes by attributes i mean this particular values like if i want to know the name i can do dot name and it, it is showing the name if i do dot data let's see what happens so if i do dot data fine so now see this prints something gibberish for us now this is actually in bytes so this is actually a bytes string okay i think i have talked about byte strings previously maybe i will talk about byte strings in a later video so this is this is obviously uh, not not what we want this is actually the image data to be very specific this is actually the image uh, like the every pixel data i should say the image data so now uh, this is not readable obviously we want colors so for that what we do uh, i need to save this to a file if you copy this particular data into a notepad and save it as jpg i think you should you should get an image file but that's that's not the point over here not not like we are not supposed to manually copy it like we can do it using python only so i'll i'll, I'll show how it is done so for example i will do with open uh, uh, first let me gather the data over here for example the file name that i want to save is this particular file name okay the image 11.jpg so i'll copy this particular data from here and paste it now uh, the file data that i want is this particular file data right this data this gibberish data now if i paste this so now we have the file name and the file data so you know how to write a file right so if i do with open if i do file name and if i do mode as write binary okay it should be wb because this is not plain text okay so it should be wb write binary and with open as file maybe okay now file dot write and it's going to write the particular file data inside of it now if i do shift enter we should be having an image yes see we are having the image if i open this yep see we are having this particular image so this image got we saved it we saved this particular image into a particular standalone jpeg file or an image file now this code will be only able to pick up only one image because we have hard coded the page we have hard coded the image also like from the first page we are picking the first image right so now it has it like we don't want it to be hard coded right we want it to roll like in in a for loop so now rolling is a little bit tricky since we have two lists to take care of definitely i will show you how we will do it so the first thing that comes in my mind is i need to target the number of pages that we have okay so it is very simple i know this particular data okay this is like number of pages correct this is the number of pages that we have now if i have number of pages i can simply do for page in range number of pages right so this is how i will be able to target like iterate over all of my pages now i have to select a particular page right we are iterating like we are getting the like the number of pages and we are iterating three times because our number of pages is three now i have to actually target a page now to do that it is also simple it is pdf file object dot pages 
okay and here i have to pass page okay and here i have to pass one page okay so this is a particular page i hope i am not making variable names confusing so this is one page data right this is an object this is an integer okay this this the value of this will be 0 1 2 that's it and this is just an object a particular page that it is selecting so i should uh, i should say particular page okay cooler page if it is confusing now i selected one particular page and in that particular page i have to target the images dot images now here is one tricky thing we, we like we don't know how many images it will contain right so or, or again we have to calculate the number of uh, images in a particular page right so if i do number of images in a particular page so i am getting particular pages dot images uh, i don't need to calculate because since it is already it, it is already a list it, it is already a list containing objects so in python we don't have to calculate number of pages i can directly iterate on it so for image in particular page dot images now here inside this i have to actually create the file so before creating the file i just want to print let's print what we are getting let's print images okay and also i'll print the number of page that we are in so if i do shift enter um i should give the page over here not not number of pages so yeah now you can see this will be a little bit clear so in the zeroth page or i should i should i should put the page number before okay and maybe i should do this so in my zeroth page i am having a file in my first page i am having i should i should say in my zeroth page i'm having one image and in my uh, first page i am having an image okay and i hope i have mentioned you that does not matter what what page number it is the first page is always going to be the zeroth page like the page with index zero right and this is the page with index one so and even the in case of images also like that so this is the zeroth zeroth uh, picture like this is the first picture so the index value is zero so i have two images it was able to pick up the two images and since in the first page i have one image and the second page i have the other image so this is the zeroth page where having this particular image and this is the first page where having this particular image right so two images so there are no further images present so i was able to pick up those two images now what i need to do i need to write with open now here the thing is so since i have the data i will type what is the file name i want okay how we can get the file name so we have the image data we have the page data right so pretty simple for file name should be image dot name okay so file name should be image dot name i hope you are getting it how it is image dot name so since image is this particular object okay so image is this particular object so name is this one fine so file name is image dot name and file data is image dot data i hope this is pretty straightforward right so now i will save the particular image so if i do with open file name comma i have to pass the mode as wb write binary as file uh, it should be colon now file dot i'll type right yep now i have to pass the data which is file data now you can see there is only one image with me if i delete this 
now if i execute this particular thing let me shift enter we should be able to get two images there should be two images present okay and we have two images the first one is this image of the waves and second one is the ocean so likewise if we have a particular document containing multiple images this is the code that you need only this code it will be able to pick up all your images from every single page okay so just try to play with this so i hope this worked for you perfectly fine if it did not do let me know in the comment section below in the next video i'll show you how to encrypt a particular pdf how to decrypt it how to write it that's all for this video thank you for watching i am going to see you in an awesome upcoming programming video